kind of merged. Cry now. You drank too much. <laughs> <laughs> Hey everybody, welcome back to Drinking While Interviewing. It's the season finale, I've got a very special episode for you guys. We are at Durham Bulls Athletic Park at the Bullpen, and today we're talking beats and bars. We've got John Law, managing partner, and we've got Crystal Taylor, the queen curator, CEO and founder of the festival. How are you guys today? Great. Oh, good. <laughs> this is a crossover episode. Usually you're the one on camera interviewing people. The roles are a little bit switched. I know, it's crazy. John, welcome to the craziness, by the oh, way. Um... <laughs> Proud to be here. Glad <laughs> to be here. Hilarious. Awesome. Well, today we are drinking Bull Durham Beer Company beers. We're all drinking something different because Bull Durham Beer Company is sponsoring the Beats of Bars Festival. Is that an accurate statement for you guys? That is correct. Man, they came through for you guys for sure. So, what we have going on today, I'm drinking the Bull Durham Beer Company Kolsch um, 4.7 ABV. Um, I don't know what to say other than it's extremely refreshing. It's freaking hot outside, so this is perfect. Uh, John, you got the, the pale ale, right? Mm -hmm. You got the strongest one among us, 6%. <laughs> so, I didn't go for taste or texture or anything. I just saw percentage. <laughs> and I'm a winner, and that's what I go for. That's what winners do. They go from big high percentage. High percentage <laughs> numbers. Crystal's taking it easy. She's got the wheat beer, nice and relaxed. Yeah. You Did know. you drink all that already? Yeah. OK. That's what I'm here for. I got it's her back. It's delicious. You know? And it's bull durham wheat. Um, yes, it's great. What the hell is Beats and Bars? Beats and Bars! I'm sorry, I just... <laughs> um, Beats and Bars is, is the two-day hip-hop festival um, that we've created. Um, this is our second year in activation, and John, the real law, is we're partners now in making Durham beautiful. Our mission is to influence the community positively with um, the influence of art, urban art and culture. So um, it's a two-day, fun-filled, just amazing pack of all hip-hop everything. B-boys, being B-girls as well, break yeah. dancers. So yeah. Wanna, you know. DJ scratching, yeah. battling, producers, mm -hmm. um, sampling, <laughs> and <laughs> I mean it's, we have like 30-something artists on the yeah. on the platform wow. so far. Plus. We have art functions that we're going to be doing too. Um, people, graffiti artists, being able to draw and do some cool things, so we're really excited. So when is it? September 22nd, 23rd. Okay. That's how <laughs> tickets are on sale right now. Get your tickets because you don't want to wait until the last moment. <laughs> we just came out of our Kickstarter, mm. um, so which was amazingly successful. And so thank you, thank you Dave. For real. Chris, uh, or, uh, the Queen Curator, was uh, doing- Trademark. Trademark, Trademark Queen Trademark. Curator. TM. Uh, she had started uh, Beats and Bars uh, last year. Uh, and it was a really cool uh, event uh, with like Jay Gunn, Wells, um, who else was Swift? Really high. Really yeah. high. So some really cool, cool names out there rocking. Pat Jr. being one of them. And uh, the focus was, you know, mainly hip hop. Yeah. And mostly festivals around the area, they kind of put hip hop in there to make it like a cool factor okay. and whatnot, kind of, you know, to spice it up because hip hop is, is dope. A little sprinkle. Yeah, they sprinkle it. But with this, we want to freaking garnish the whole thing. <laughs> put, the, put every aspect of hip hop in it. So we're focusing on the, the, the graffiti artists and the b-boys and the DJs mm -hmm. and uh, to really show all the pillars, even the knowledge portion yeah. of, the, the, of the hip hop. So. Uh, there's the conferences that are going to be out there, and one MC to another, mm -hmm. so uh, people that's been in the industry can talk to artists that are, you know, uh, uh, that are looking for, seeking that knowledge to further their uh, career. Hip hop, as as music, obviously has been around for a little bit, been around a while. It's becoming mainstream, probably like late '80s, early '90s, you know. But do you feel like hip hop as an art form, like the artistic part, has become more mainstream? But you know, you have like shows like on Netflix, like The Get Down, about the root of hip hop. You've got more documentaries on HBO talking about how one person, one artist, like struggle or message. Do you feel like it's becoming more understood now? Yeah, um, to a certain degree, I feel like people are respecting it more enough to be able to place it out there for the for the public view to see it and understand it more. Um, Coming part of the history, yeah. Now, so that's yeah. that's why the, the notoriety is coming with it. You know, we 
you think because TV shows are mm -hmm. happening from it. Yeah, because you see a lot of corporate companies using it in their commercials and their branding and their marketing. So I think there's an appreciation for the fact that without this set, this tone, this this the sound, this um, culture, that we'd not be able to reach a lot of people that um, relate to it. So I think that there's definitely a, a appreciation for the history and the knowledge of it. Um, I don't necessarily think that a lot of times it's dis displayed properly. Um, so that's something that is really important to us. We can say, you know, hey, you know, kids can learn how to dance. They can be um, artists. They can go somewhere further with those pillars um, to be able to understand music, to read music, to draw, to dance. And they can they can further those those talents and those skills in an artistic perspective. I mean, it's it, if it's being respected, I, it might be. Oh uh, man, sorry, it's the, the drugs. I'm talking. I mean, the, the beer. Drugs. Don't do drugs. Yeah. Don't do those things. Dare. But drink beer and get an Uber. That works. Or live. <laughs> Dare worked for me. <laughs> it worked for me. <laughs> yes. I still have my shirt. <laughs> the price still fits you. It does. You're giving it extra small since fifth grade. It does. Like yes, that. it still fits, and I wear it proudly. I hate you. Yeah. I mean, I love what you guys are doing. I love. I mean, I've been a hip hop fan for a little bit, but I didn't really grasp it or understand it until I started working with you guys. And I'm, I'm like really white, so I feel like if I can enjoy it, everyone. I don't know, Taylor. Everybody. You got a, you got a little soul you in you. Yeah. You got some soul. Yeah, you kicking on drums. You I got want, a lot of soul. I want to believe that somewhere down the line. There's some black water. <laughs> there is. Apparently I can't get away from music categorizations. We're gonna stick with stick with tradition. I'm gonna go with Hot Damn Ho, Here We Go Again. Because, um, by Little Kim. Because Here We Go Again, and. As in you want another one. Yeah. Okay. And uh, it's just gonna cause me problems for the rest of the day. <laughs> and damn it, Ho, why can't you get your shit together? <laughs> so. It's, and that's after like four. Well, it's two like, is why can't you probably, get your shit together? You know, I'm 110 pounds, so maybe two is probably <laughs> the cutoff. I'm telling you guys right now, if you catch me in the bar, Two is the cutoff before things start acting crazy. Ah, <laughs> uh, give me some more. <laughs> people want the wild. Yeah. Give me some more. <laughs> if people had enough, give me some more. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. That's it. That's it right there. Because I am not a two pint uh, individual. I need at least, I'm a Marine, former Marine, so that's how we used to get paid in alcohol. So I'm trying to keep tradition alive. So cheers. Is that, <laughs> is that where our tax, tax dollars go? <laughs> like, what? We go as where we used to get Military we funding. You? We're buying six Seven, packs. 1770. Back in the day. It's incredibly hot outside. It's like 90 something degrees. Um, this is very refreshing. Um, not a whole lot of aftertaste, so I think it's so fresh, so clean. So fresh. <laughs> Guys, cheers. Mm. Thank you guys for being on Drinking While oh, Interviewing. Thank you for Good having luck us. with the festival. Thank you. We'll see you guys next season. Cheers. Just to appear that way, that'll separate the two of you guys. And you have to be a little bit closer. That's good. Okay. That okay. was literally one half of my cheek. <laughs> <laughs> that was, that was Well, it's not that half. much, right? So. What were you looking at? Like, I was like, oh, what, what, what? I see cameras, I'm Wait, using nah. both of them, baby. <laughs> <laughs>